And so uh, naturally uh, they had it set up. It was very nice because um, at some places they keep the, the ties and the foreigners separated. But here uh, we were allowed to mingle as a cohesive being people, being what the Dhamma teaches. Rupa is Rupa, form is form. You know, there is no Thai English, you know, we are all just the elements. And, uh, and so I can remember that night afterwards being shown my quarters where I was going to be staying at. And I think at the time there was a, I stayed with Ram from Austria, and uh, there was another person from, from I think from a couple people from Germany and one female from South Africa. So you know, we all joked that it was kind of like the UN corner of the of the temple, and it was really dynamic. I think it really helped in um, diversifying and showing truly what the Dharma is, which was which is still to this day a universal language. Um, and so, you know, the next day we woke up at, at four o'clock and of course, I'm used to sleeping into whatever I like, getting my eight hours and waking up and having my frosted flakes and uh, no, this wasn't going to happen. You know, so we wake up and I find somehow to just, I think my feet took me to the sala and we had a morning chanting there and I, I didn't know what I was chanting in the beginning. I just kind of, you know, um, then saw the statue of the Buddha, and I, 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 I kind of looked around to see what people would do. Oh, okay, now you bow. You know, and eventually I, I kind of caught my groove like Stella, and um, then we we went to eat. We had a small meal after uh, we meditated for about an hour and a half. And I looked at this, and I thought to myself, wow, at, at first this looked like prison food. I couldn't quite identify what it was, and, uh, and, uh, and so everybody's going through the line, and we grab it soon, and Dayajan says, okay, today we're going to learn how to eat. And I just kind of have this peculiar, awkward look, we're going to learn how to eat. I learned, I just spent $1,400 to travel to learn how to eat, okay, that's what we do. He says, grab the spoon slowly, think about moving your hand, moving your hand, you grab the spoon, put it in the food, bring, ah, 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 close your mouth, close your mouth, don't open just yet, bring the spoon to your mouth, open, put it, and then of course you want to chew, you want to eat, you're used to, you're hungry, and you know, you don't, you don't know what you're eating, but you're hungry, and so you put the spoon back down, okay, now you can chew, count, one, two, and when I came back to the States after six days of eating, and my friend said, well, you know, we'll have to go out to dinner and we'll have to, you have to tell me, show me a picture. Sure, sure. Actually, they saw I was quite calm and happy, and I said, okay. So they begin to talk, and here I am, reaching for the spoon, reaching for the spoon. What are you doing? I'm eating. And they said, oh, yeah, we're going to have to get you a drink. we we'll have to loosen you up. So I told my friends, <clears throat> exactly what I learned how to do, <clears throat> which was eat, walk, and talk. 